with one singer's journey to the Oscars. Hey, Alicia. Hey, Walter. Oh, they're strolling at this very moment. All of the celebrities walking by, all of the nominees, 10 of them with direct ties to the Delaware Valley. This is going to be an amazing night for Philadelphia. And let me tell you what it feels like to be in this space right now. It truly feels like Hollywood's big comeback. You know, there are a lot of dreams making their way down the carpet. And we had a chance to chat with one of the stars of Encanto, who is celebrating her own comeback story. They're going to be singing we don't talk about Bruno live tonight for the very first time. We caught up with her and her journey to this moment. We get the call congratulating me that I got the role and I can barely speak. And my husband covers up the phone and he says, I think we should tell her you can't take this. And I told him, no, you call him back if I'm dead, I'm taking this. And, and then I mustered enough strength to say, Thank you very much. When do I start? The role of a lifetime, Dolores Madrigal, came at the exact moment Adasa was battling a mystery illness, causing paralysis of her body and vocal cords. There's so many unknowns with COVID. There's nothing we can do. And I went home and that was it. And I went home to die. For the next three weeks, she would fight like Rocky, she says, for her health and her voice, which was still weak and whisper-like. And then you got to work, you got to record. Oh my gosh, I got to record. Imagine coming back and then I meet with the directors and they're like, okay, so we're thinking for Dolores to be like a very hushed speaker and she's an intimate and I'm like, no way. I got this. And now you're at the Oscars. I mean, this is, the, this Pinch really me. Has... Am I really not, is this real? Cause I sometimes I wake up and I turn on my Disney Plus and I'm going, oh my gosh, that is me. Hey. Good to live in fear, Bruno stuttering and stumbling. I can always hear him stutter, muttering and mumbling. I associate him with, with the sound of falling sand. Tss, tss, tss. It's, it's a heavy lip with a gift so humbling. Always left abuela and the family fumbling. Grappling with prophecies they couldn't understand. Do you understand? No one is more excited about the Oscars, um, trust me when I say this, no one, <laughs> more than Alicia Vitarelli. She joins us now in Hollywood. Alicia, among the nominees this year, a whole lot of local <laughs> talent, proud to support their hometowns. Guys, it is true, really. I don't think you can find someone more excited than me. And I'm so excited to introduce you to all 10 of our local Delaware Valley stars who are nominated for an Oscar this Sunday. They're all going to walk this famous red carpet, which they've been dressing up throughout the day. They've added these beautiful flowers. I love it. So I'm going to tell you about two of these nominees right now. Don't Look Up is nominated for four Oscars this Sunday, including Best Picture and Best Original Screenplay. Now, the story was a collaboration between two Two Delaware County natives, Malvern's Adam McKay and Abington's David Sirota. They both share an immense passion for growing up in the Philadelphia area, and now they also share an Oscar nomination. I am drinking from my Charles Barkley mug. That's a picture of me and Charles Barkley from 1986. From the moment I met David Sirota, it was clear. What's the saying? You can take the boy out of Philadelphia, but you can't take the Philadelphia out of the boy. In 1985, Sirota and Bradley Cooper both played for the East Abington Little League team. This year, they are both nominated for an Oscar. I have not seen him since Little League. That changed at the recent Oscar nominees luncheon. He's like, you gotta be kidding me. He's like, let me see the picture. I can't believe it. He was like, oh my God, like this is just taking me back. I'm twisted up inside. Sirota's best friend, Penn Charter, Adam Goldberg, creator of ABC's hit show, The Goldbergs. There's a named character of me who wears a Sixers jersey uh, in the show. Years later, Sirota would become friends with Malvern's Adam McKay. Their collaboration on Don't Look Up starts with Sirota's suggestion. I said, you know, it really does uh, a lot of days feel like there's an asteroid headed towards Earth and nobody cares. Can you see it? And he said, now wait a minute. I wonder, I wonder if there's a movie idea there. How big is this thing going? I can't destroy my ex-wife's house. Is that possible? <laughs> there's a 100% chance that we're all going to die. And hello, you're going to the Oscars. I like, know, and that is that is not a life plot twist that I ever expected. Don't Look Up, story by Adam McKay and David Sirota. Besides that Oscar nod, there's something else Sirota and McKay share, a love of action news. As a thank you gift, I literally sent him two t-shirts and a mug from Action News Channel 6. Also true story, my phone ringtone 
was the action news song. I love uh, it. I don't think I didn't bring both of them some new Action News t-shirts for this red carpet. Coming up at 5 o'clock, you're going to meet a Havertown native and her husband who are up for documentary short subject. It was a labor of love for them, and it really is rooted in their own love story. Can't wait to introduce you guys. We're live on the red carpet. Alicia Vitarelli, Channel 6 Action News. And more to come from you later, Alicia. Yeah. Thank you so much. Alicia Vitarelli is lucky enough to be on board. She joins <laughs> us live with more on all the magic that this new ship has to offer. You've got all your friends there, Alicia. I was just about to say to my friends in Philadelphia, I am here with some of my absolute besties from Disney, Goofy, Pluto, and Mickey. But guess what, guys? The captain of this ship, and she's getting ready right now, is Minnie. The Disney Wish getting ready to set sail for this christening cruise with guests from special media and other invited guests for this very first sailing. It is going to be absolutely glorious. We just stepped onto the boat. It is beautiful. Welcome aboard the Wish. Where all of your royal friends are ready to welcome you to the Grand Hall with a proper greeting. And then take a curtsy. <laughs> Perfect. On all 15 decks, you'll find Disney pals sharing their stories, their art, and their magic. That's it! They're teaching you their superhero skills. Wow, you're so strong! And enlisting you to save the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> Work to save the day while you dine at Worlds of Marvel. Hey, how are you doing? And celebrate Anna and Kristoff's engagement during a dinner celebration in Arendelle. Well, of course, we're going to have food and music, and you might see some of our friends and maybe a surprise from my sister. And while the kids play, so do the adults. If adults are looking for nightlife, we have some incredible bars and nightclubs. Like the Star Wars Hyperspace Lounge, where the cocktails are out of this world. This is amazing. Wow. <laughs> or, you know what, we can dine under a canopy um, and have cocktails at the bayou. Okay. An ode to Princess and the Frog. The Aqua Mouse is Disney's first attraction at sea. Here we go, Philadelphia! <laughs> and there's a new captain, too. The first female. So you know what I love about this ship? Mm -hmm. Captain Minnie. <laughs> she is at the helm. She runs this place. There are fireworks on board, Broadway-style shows, Food, sweets. Yeah. Welcome to Castaway Key. Visit Disney's private island in the Bahamas, Castaway Key, or unwind at Census Spa. Come on down to Disney Cruise Line. Come, Come enjoy the last. Disney Wish. Treat yourself. It's a wish many years in the making. I can't wait to meet you all very soon. Come along to visit us in the kingdom. It's going to be wonderful. <laughs>